Namaste YouTube, this is Ambi. Uh, today we will talk about JavaScript. Let us talk about JavaScript. So what is JavaScript? Let me open a browser. So if I click this, or I click here, that letter went out. Let's say, I said, hello, right? So when I type this, whatever that's happening here, that probably is happening from JavaScript. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to download Node.js download till then and we will download that file and while we are downloading and installing it we will talk we'll have a small introduction talk about JavaScript. Windows install.msi I am downloading Node.js Alright it's downloading it it's uh, two minutes so probably we have that much of time to talk about uh, two minutes. So what the hell is JavaScript? JavaScript is a programming language that allows you to implement complex things on web pages. Every time a web page does more than uh, just sit there and display static information for you to look at, uh, displaying timely content updates or interactive maps or maybe animated 2D, 3D graphics or scrolling video jukeboxes, etc. Where am I reading this from? Well, developer.mozilla.com. You have a, a nice long lengthy course there if you are into that go ahead um, basically web uh, uh, right now if you talk about the uh, web any website or most of the websites it is for sure uh, made of HTML HTML is the markup language that we use uh, to structure and give meaning to our web content then CSS is all about styling. Uh, is a language of style rules that we use to apply styling to our HTML content. Then what the hell is JavaScript? JavaScript is a scripting language that enables you to create dynamically updating content. Control multimedia, animate images. So if I click uh, this, so whatever that's, that happened now, that is from uh, JavaScript. So if I clicked on the 64 bit, if they are using JavaScript at the back end, then it gets downloaded. So basically, it's uh, to do if someone does something, what should happen? Or something does something, then what should happen? Right? So that is all done uh, from JavaScript. It is also known as the de facto language powering the web, uh, as most of the sites are powered by JavaScript. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but I say it's a very good beginner language. If you are from a uh, Python background, it won't be hard at all for you to get used to it. It's a high level language. That means it's an interpreted language. So you can use a lot of IDEs um, for integrated development environment as they call them, right? Well, I think I have to drag and drop this here. As Microsoft doesn't want to go. All right, so now it's gone. Again, let me drag and drop to the left hand side. So I'm not going to use any Visual Studio IDE or there's a lot of IDEs. You can go to JetBrains, you can download some IDE or Atom, you can configure your favorite text editor like Sublime. Our Visual Studio Code, whatever, but I'd like to use something which is online all the time. REPL.it. Let's go to REPL.it. <clears throat> and okay, uh, what I want to do JavaScript. I want to use JavaScript. JavaScript. Okay, so that is a JavaScript. It's going to spin up an ID for me. I don't want it now. Close it here. And I'm going to make it really big for you to see it. So um, let's type this here. String. Control enter. Ends up fine. String. Ends up fine. Um, let's play clear. One, that's my YouTube name. Prints are fine. Now, what if I want to store that into some variable or stuff, right? Here, 
here bothering me. All right. So I'm going to store this into a very message. I'm big. Enter. And I'm going to give a space here just for fun. Then I will say message. Control enter. Okay. So that is how you store a variable. If it was Python, this wouldn't be there. I don't have to explicitly call that it's a variable. And there's another way of doing it here. Uh, can I do it here? Let me see. Variable message three. Hey. Undefined, then I'll say console.law r. Can I just say message three? Wow, awesome. So that's how it is. Uh, you can also, I mean, the right way of doing it when you're using in a web uh, is this. That is console.log, that is print to the console or log to the console. It's printing the message. So now another thing that instead of this now, okay, let me do this for you here. Message dot to upper case, control enter, and big. Now what if it is already uh, for case? And B and hmm, well, it does nothing because it's already uppercase. What if I want to do lowercase to to lower case? As you can see, it's all camel case. First word always starts with uh, small case. The next word in that argument, the first letter of the next word is always uppercase, so that's called camel case. Up in that is down, up, down, up, down, up, right? So it makes uppercase into lowercase. Mm, what else I want to show you? Things. Message dot length. Okay. That is so it six. Okay. I don't. But it's only four letters. As well, it calculates the space as well. So I want to remove that space. Let's say mm, you have created a. Um, form on the internet somebody enters a name and there are spaces at the end of it or somewhere and you don't want spaces then you can trim it trim the output right so what i can do here is message two equals this then i will say message two okay and b then i will calculate the length and gth four Right, so that's all uh, we had for introduction and string of. Oh, okay. The most important thing that we didn't do is, hello world. We have to do that. var <laughs> equals message. Hello world. Now let me see. Console dot log message. Enter hello world. That's all we had for now. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great one. Take care.